Hey everybody, Steve Burns here. Now, when you load on your Wacom drivers uh, for your Cintiq or your Intros Pro, you're gonna get this Wacom Desktop Center. So, let's understand exactly what this is. Now, this is, a, is an easier way to access your Wacom tablet properties. And I'm gonna show that to you in just a little bit. So, by default, you have the updates here. So, if there are any updates for your particular device, they're gonna show right here on the right-hand side. My system is up to date with the latest, greatest drivers for the Cintiq Companion 22 inch touch, which is currently what I'm working on now. Therefore, we will see nothing there. I'm right handed. I have mine set for right handed. So if I click and release here with my pen, I you can change that option to be left handed if you prefer. I'm going to keep mine the same. And now we're going to go over to the touch settings when I click this here or to turn on your touch or turn off the touch. I prefer to keep it on. So I will not modify this. Now, what these all are here are simply shortcuts to your Wacom tablet properties. For example, under the pin button settings, it opens up, it gives you options here. So open pin settings, express keys, and so forth. So if I target any of these here, what you're going to get is this panel is going to pop up in front of you. This panel is the driving force behind all of your pin-centric workflow, your entire device. This is what we used to use solely before Wacom introduced the Wacom Desktop Center. Okay, so the Wacom Tablet Properties box is, once again, is driving everything. So what the Wacom Desktop Center is, is just simply an easier way or shortcuts to accessing this particular panel. And through the Wacom Desktop Center, we can also back up our drivers. So if I can click the backup to the cloud, then I can decide backup settings or restore settings or manage settings. We're going we're gonna to actually accomplish that a little bit later. All right, so social media forms, if I target this, it's gonna, it's gonna allow you to access your, all of your social media that uh, Wacom is involved in. User manuals, okay, if you wanna view any of that. Again, these are shortcuts to, to locations on to Wacom site to help you, you know, improve your user experience and educational experience. So I just targeted the tutorials and Wacom has on their site various tutorials that will help you get the, help you get started. All right, I can target the support as well. And over here on the right hand side, it's gonna integrate um, any, you know, just the direct website for any of your drivers, your your manuals and, and your accounts and so forth. I can, if you decide you're gonna wanna, wanna register that, you can also do all of that or accomplish all of that through this Welcome Desktop Center.